My name is uh, Kaskar Rumulbay. I'm a forest forester working with the Bureau of Agriculture. I work mainly with uh, education, educating school students, communities, and the importance of conserving and protecting Palau's precious environment. Palau is uh, facing a lot of development now and in the near future. With this development, without proper and careful planning, Palau is going to face a lot of environmental destructions in the upland, down to the streams and down to the mangrove areas. On the upland, improper earth moving or clear cutting of the forest will have an impact on the mangroves. After the earth has been moved or clear filled, rain falls and then we want to have erosion and this erosion will flow down to the river and down to the mangroves whereby destroying the mangroves and all the marine life depending on the mangroves to live. Although we should still welcome carefully planned development, we must ensure the long-term protection of significant areas of mangrove forest. We need to make use of traditional management practices together with laws and regulations to prevent the continued loss of our mangroves. If we continue to allow patches of mangroves to be cleared, over time we will find that we have lost a significant proportion of the total mangrove forest. The uh, Bureau of Agriculture is working closely with uh, DNC, PCS and other non-governmental organizations in Palau in planning to do community visits throughout the states in Palau, talking to the community about the mangroves, what are mangroves, why is it important to protect the mangroves. The reason that we're doing this is to help each state to come up with their own mangrove management plan. And the way to go about this is to visit the state and get feedback from the states on what would they want to be included in the mangrove management plan. The state will identify each areas that they want to allocate for conservation, preservation, fisheries, or for a dump site or for filling for infrastructures. So the role of Bureau of Agriculture is to assist the state in allocating those different areas that they want to allocate for different projects. Meaning that the state, they want to own the mangrove management plan. It's not going to be the Bureau of Agriculture or any other non-government organizations. We are only coming to the state to get what they want us to help them with. So we are going to the state asking them that we want to help you develop your own mangrove management plan. So it's going to be the property of the state. It's not going to be the Bureau of Agriculture or any NGOs in Palau. It is best to only harvest individual trees or small patches of mangrove closer to the land. When building roads, it is best to build small sections and tarmac them section by section so that we minimize erosion and prevent large amounts of sediments from flowing into the rivers and onto the reefs. We can also minimize impacts of developments in agriculture in upland areas by careful planning and monitoring to reduce runoff. There is currently no overall legislation or management strategy for mangroves in Palau, although a few states have some forms of protection in place. The Bureau of Agriculture is therefore aiming to work with state governments, traditional leaders, and other government and non-government agencies over the next year to draft a mangrove management plan. This will provide national level mangrove management direction that supports state ownership and conservation of mangrove resources. Laws will only work if they are supported by the community. Each of us needs to take some degree of personal responsibility for the conservation of our mangroves and passing on the message to our family and friends. Don't clear mangroves on your land. If you remove trees, take a few from different areas rather than clearing a patch. Don't throw trash in the mangroves. Treat them with respect and keep them beautiful. Campaign for mangrove protection in your state and do not support projects that will destroy these forests. As individuals, we need to understand the threats to mangrove forest, because as development spreads through Palau, we are losing traditional respect for this vital component of our environment.
There is a clown proverb that says the mangrove is like a mother and the animals that live in her are her children. Only a healthy mother can provide for her children. So let every one of us take responsibility for mangrove forests near our homes. They protect us and the reefs on which we depend and ensure a healthy Palau for healthy children in the future. Ah uh -huh. 